So today we have a shadow and schmooze on the look I'm wearing right now. Got a little creative with the eyes. I used brow bar to goes as eyeshadow, which is really great if you're in a rush in the morning and you just need something fast is what I've been doing in the morning for work and I really like it. Went to Walgreens and spent more money on makeup. It's for you guys, so I tell myself. If you want to see what's on my face, then just keep watching. All right, so I've clearly already applied my foundation and brows. I'm currently filming a first impression on the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Liquid Foundation. That was long. By the time you guys are watching this video, that video will have already been up, so I will link it over here if you want to see my thoughts on the Maybelline Dream Wonder. So I have no idea what we're doing right now. So for concealers, I'm going to use the Smashbox High Def Concealer mixed in with my NYX HD and Lavender to lighten it up. And I got this Smashbox concealer um, discounted from Glambot. It's a super awesome like used makeup site. Um, I have a 10% off link that you can use down below if you want to check it out. I don't know why I'm using my second finger right now. I've never used this finger. Let's switch. I wish that I could set my concealer without losing that like luminosity that it gives off because I really like that. But just gotta set your concealer. Life's rough. I don't want to put any where I normally highlight the rest of my face, like on my forehead and bridge of the nose and stuff, because I am filming a first impression right now, so I don't want to mess with that foundation. I don't know where to put this right now. Makeup wipe, where are you? Then I'm setting the under eye concealer with Physicians Formula Translucent Light Setting Powder. I don't really want to powder my whole face because we are doing a first impressions video, like I said. So for a little bit of a contour, I'm going to be going in with my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Brick Nude thing. Yeah, this brush is still broken. So for blush, I'm going to be using the same product. I'm just going in with the pink shades. For this, I'm using my It Cosmetics brush. This came with the Celebration Foundation Illumination, um, which I have a couple videos mentioning. But I've been obsessed with this brush for blush. As you can see, this just gives you a super pretty glow. So then I like to set my whole face with the Urban Decay Dislike Makeup Setting Spray. What was life like before setting sprays? Alright, so that's everything that I'm doing on the face today. I feel like that was really fast because I didn't have to do brows. I have literally no idea what we're doing on the eyes right now, but I need to figure it out. Alright, so for primer, I'm going to be using Max Painterly Paint Pot. I need to get a new one because mine is pretty dried out. These are awesome bases for eyeshadows. Probably one of my favorite primers ever. So in the morning for work, I've literally just been reaching for the simplest, easiest things I can throw on my face at 6.30 in the morning. So I've actually been using the Brow Bar To Go's for my eyes, just because then I can do my brows and my eyes at the same time super fast. They don't have shades on the back, but I think there's only a light and a darker set. I could be wrong, there might be three. This middle shade in the lightest brow bar is a perfect transition color for the crease. It's literally just the perfect shade for me. These aren't technically for your eyes, obviously, but I do find that since they're a brow powder, they actually last a little bit better because they have that kind of brow powder consistency. So if you don't have time in the morning and just want something fast, I would definitely pick this up because you can get the middle shade and this shade and do a super easy, fast eye look. It just makes everyone's life a little bit easier, you know? So because I have that MAC Paint Early Paint Pot as a base, which is a cream shadow, I'm not actually going to be putting shadow on my lids because it does cover up my freckles and things like that on my eyes. So I'm going in with that same palette. What is this called? A trio or a palette? It's called a trio. Going in with that same trio and I'm using this darker kind of ashy brown shade. I'm just going to be applying this to the outer third of my eye. So after we have that color on there, I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and just blend everything together. So you could totally stop here with the shadow, but if you want a little bit more smoke, we're going to smoke it out. I'm going to use the darker shade of the brow bar, and I'm just using the darkest shade in this trio. I'm just going to define the crease a little bit more, and we're just going to add some smoke. With this one, I'm just super lightly placing the color and then blending it about a third of the way in. Then what we're going to do is turn our brush and blend it upwards. So I'm gonna run whatever is left over on that brush on the bottom lash line. Then on a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade and put this on the outer third of the eye. So to highlight the inner corner of our eye, I'm gonna go back in with the shimmer bricks and use my finger with this lightest white shade. This is a perfect, perfect highlight shade. You can see how pigmented that is. And I just like to blend it out with my other fingers. 
I'm also gonna put this just on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna attempt to find my next jumbo eye pencil and milk. We can pop that on the waterline. Haven't seen it in a hot minute. Couldn't find the next jumbo eye pencil. Why does that sound so weird saying? Jumbo eye pencil. So I'm gonna be using the Milani Brow and Eye Highlight. I'm just using the matte shade and we're gonna put this on our waterline. Adding a light color to your waterline just makes such a difference. You look so much more awake. For eyeliner, Physicians Formula Eye Booster. I'm using a lot of Physicians Formula stuff, I feel like, right now. Holy Grail Eyeliner. I'm going to skip over mascaras because I do the same thing in every single shadow and schmooze video. So if you want to see the products I'm using, everything is always listed in the down bar. The nail polish color, the necklace, the jewelry, everything you want to know is in that box. So the eyes and everything are all done. I totally forgot that I went to Walgreens to get a bunch of stuff to use in this video. How perfect are these? kind of want to just like frame this. I don't think I actually want to use these lashes. I also got the Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Gloss. Maybelline was 40% off everything, so I figured now would be the time to try these. Haven't used this before, haven't opened it. This is in the shade 070 Intoxicating Spice. These are supposed to be pretty pigmented, so I'm not going to apply lipstick or liner or anything underneath. I just want to see, see what's going on with these. It feels like butter going on your lips. Feels super smooth. I think I'm gonna need a mirror for this. I could literally sit here and go like this all day because it feels so freaking good. I'm all about this so far. All right, so this is the final look. I feel like I didn't really talk about anything going on in life right now, but next shadow and schmooze, I guess. If you wanna see the first impression on the foundation I'm wearing right now, I'll link that below for you guys so you can go check it out. If you like this video and you like Shadow and Schmooze, get ready with me videos. Be sure to give this a thumbs up so I know. Does anyone else have a hitchhiker's thumb? Anyways. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.